right before we moved here, we were at the homeless shelter. My wife and I had been sick. Our health is not the best, and we wound up losing everything we had. The first day that Harry and I moved in, it, it, was, it was just everything that I was thinking of when I was thinking about what I liked, what I would like to have in the apartment, and it was just everything. We opened up in November of 2017. Uh, we have 42 units, and it's a senior property, so you have to be 55 and over uh, to live here. I feel privileged to be in a position to be able to provide uh, affordable housing to those that need it. I've seen where they come from, and it's, it feels good to be able to give them a home that it's much it's a big upgrade than what they're used to living in. And a lot of our residents have never had a new place. Originally, the Wheatland site was owned by the state. It is one of the entry points to the hilltop. The city's vision for the hilltop is to have a vibrant, safe, and strong neighborhood. Uh, the hilltop is filled with community pride. It has a rich history as one of the oldest neighborhoods in Columbus, but it continues to struggle, and it's a priority neighborhood for the mayor because he recognizes that the hilltop has not seen all of the opportunity and success that some of the other communities within the city have. So what we are really trying to do is focus on how do we lift up the neighborhood and residents who have chosen to remain there. What we really hope is that the residents see it as a commitment to um, providing housing options that are affordable to the seniors in the hilltop as well as redevelopment for the community at large. I have lived in Columbus all my life. I'm retired, taking it easy, that's my job now. Well my goal was when I retired to travel you know, go different places. And by coming to Wheatland Crossing, they've, uh, I can reach that goal now. Wheatland's a very nice place that provides everything I'm looking for, everything that I need. I can do more things now that I couldn't do where I was living at. I can enjoy life more. And you have uh, grocery stores that's real close and walking distance. You have a park and walking distance. You can have a trail you can walk on. And it's real nice. The air is well lit. I like it here. My daughter, she lives in Washington, D.C., and uh, she's really happy that her dad is in a quiet, secure, well-maintained place. She had told me, she said, Dad, you did the right thing by moving there. I can have my own washer and dryer, and that's important to me. It's very secure, and it's a beautiful place to live. I love my balcony. I, I love to sit out there in the afternoons before the sun starts beating in on it and read. And like, I get nosy, I see what's going on in the parking lot. <laughs> I do sit out there on the balcony a lot. There's a uh, room downstairs with a TV in it where we can all get together, maybe watch a movie. Because of the security of the place, you know, and you get to know everybody, it's like watching out for your family. It's like an extended family. Everything is in the building, which is uh, more safe. We have a, a wheelchair accessible apartment and uh, the lowest counter, and I can sit down and do what, what I need to do to make coffee. Uh, I can sit down and, and do my dishes. The bedrooms are very, very nice. You know what I'm saying? You can, you can set up two beds in one room if you wanted to, and it's just uh, it's, it's very comfortable. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be here at uh, Wheaton and Crossing for a long time. I sure am. I'm not, I'm not planning on going anywhere, moving anywhere. I'm going to stay right here. I love it here. This is, this is not one of the best places I've been, but the best the place. Best. Yeah.